There are two methods to determine the state of the ports. The first, the GPIO registers always reflect the current state on the port in real time. And second, the NTCAP registers reflect the state of the port when the interrupt occurred. The port registers always reflect the current value on the pin and the interrupt capture register contains a snapshot of the port at the time of the interrupt. Some guidelines on which register re to read. Read the GPIO register, which is the port register, when interest in in interested in the port value in real time. Read the capture register, or the int cap register, when interested in the state of the port at the time of the interrupt. As mentioned earlier, the interrupt condition is cleared by reading either the port, which is the GPIO register, or the capture register, which is the int cap register. Clearing the interrupt also frees int cap to capture another interrupt. Some slave serial devices automatically increment their internal address pointer after each byte is clocked by the master. This allows the master to sequentially access multiple registers without resending the write or read command. Other slave devices do not automatically increment their internal address pointer. The MCP23X08 and MCP23X17 devices have the ability to do either by configuring a control bit. On power up, the device may be quickly configured by sequential writing of all the registers, and then during normal operation, it may be desirable to turn off the automatic address incrementing so that the I.O. port can be continually written or read. Note, when the 23X17 or the 16-bit device is in 16-bit mode, that is the A-B addresses are paired, port A and port B are paired, and the address incrementing is turned off, the address pointer actually points to the two paired registers in a ping-pong manner. For example, the address will alternate between GPIO A and GPIO B as bytes are clocked, thereby maintaining the continual access to the full 16 bits. Address pins are typically used only on I2C devices to allow multiple devices with the same base slave address to be on the same bus. Microchips GPIO expanders with SPI interfaces also have address pins to allow multiple devices on the same bus while using one chip select. The high speed capabilities, wide voltage operation, and versatile feature set of the MCP23X08 and MCP23X17 family allows the engineer maximum flexibility when designing the system. There are two evaluation boards available at the time of this presentation. One for the MCP23X08 family or the 8-bit family and one for the 23X17 or the 16-bit family. Check the microchip website for the latest list of evaluation boards. This concludes the presentation on microchips 8-bit and 16-bit GPIO expanders. Thank you.